Hi guys, Barbie for Spurred On and another episode of Match Preview Battle. This time, back to what it should be, me against Jack Bryden. How are you, Jack? Good. Confident. I, I don't know, actually, after yesterday. Well, a little bit so deflated. we're filming this on Thursday. Obviously, last night was the Monaco loss. Uh, Jack did do a Match Preview Battle with Reese for that, but I refuse to see it as an official one, so we'll just let Jack have it as practice. We're going to stick to the Premier League battle. And this week, of course, it is against Sunderland at home, Sunday afternoon, 4.15, match three in Sky's triple header, or at least it's definitely a Premier League triple header. I will first, though, tell you the league table and results from last week's match preview battle, Stoke versus Spurs. 4-0 Stoke, no, neither of us predicted no. that. We both went for 2-0 Spurs. Sorry, it was 4-0 Spurs, not 4-0 Stoke. God, I'm an idiot. It was, uh, we predicted 2-1, we were wrong. However, overall, in all the predictions of the team, the scorers... And the other results from teams around us, I got 12 points and Jack only got 10. Hmm. How are you feeling about that, Jack? Yeah, we won 4-0, so... OK, yep, yeah, fair enough. I'll okay. give you that one. Let's talk about the league table. It currently sits like this. Uh, on on uh, six points, played for 1-2, drawn 0, lost 2, is both of us. Uh, That's both, mental. Both on six points. But the goal difference amazingly, is also level plus 46, so it means in second place in the league, Jack Bryden, first place me Hello. on alphabetical I'll order. Leave it out. B becomes comes before J. B before J. Move on. Okay, so this week, like I said, Sunderland at home, let's go. What is your prediction for the team selection, Jack Bryden, and tell us why. So I'm going to go obvious in goal, Larice. Then at the back, obviously, again, I'm going to go Walker, Toby, Jan and Davies. I'm pretty sure Rose won't be fit. How long week, do you think hamstring. he's out? Has there been any they clue said, to that? They said two weeks, but hamstring injuries are sort Dangerous. of... Dangerous. Yeah. Have you I'm ever had a hammy? Nice. I have had a, a grade two hamstring injury before, which is quite oh, serious. That's interesting, because I also Not did nice. grade two piano. So there you go. Uh, what about midfield? Cameraman, <laughs> cameraman smiles. <laughs> So in midfield, we've got Dyer and Dembele. You've got to put Dembele in. The Moose back. I think he did well against Monaco second half? I think he did amazingly well. You can see that when he came on, everyone felt a bit more comfortable. Uh, the first half of the second half in particular, we looked, you know, we were incredible, and that was because of him. Yeah. Even like I've said this before, even when he loses the ball, you're still confident that he'll win it back. Yeah. And that's what he does. He's an enforcer, and he's and he's just magic on the ball as well. Yeah. I remember there's one time when Moutinho <laughs> broke down the right, but... Dembele was in front of him and I literally said to the guy I was thinking with, I was like, oh, good luck, Moutinho. And Dembele does this thing where he almost, it feels like he's giving them a sniff, like <laughs> making them think, oh, you've got a chance here. And then he just goes, oh, yeah, so tough. Like that, yeah, and then just brushes it back. Bum in the way. He has got a massive ass. Anyway, <laughs> carry on. Uh, then in the three behind the striker, I'm going to go Lamella. I did, I was thinking maybe Son, because I, I felt, um, he must have felt quite um, disheartened that he got brought off yesterday. I thought yeah. he was playing quite well. Yeah. Uh, Missed that were, chance, though. He did, yes. But there were Punished times when he was making good runs. And like we said, it was either him or Lamella that were going to get pulled off for Dembele. But then I thought Lamella got brought off early because I think maybe Poch is preparing him for the weekend. So I'm going to go Lamella, Ali in the middle because he's not a defensive midfielder. And Ericsson. And then Janssen up top. Ooh. Have a go at me if you want, but I don't think Harry Kane. Uh, I think Harry Kane needs the the kick up the backside that that he should get in order to start scoring these goals. And I don't think he was really involved against Monaco all that much. Interesting. And there were times that he should have scored. Janssen came on and he played incredibly well. So I think he deserves that shot to be to all be right. given a start in both in the team. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to tell you my team in a second, but what you've just said has made me wonder because uh, against Palace he went Janssen and Kane, didn't he? Mm. Um, what, I wonder whether that was because of, you know, Palace might set up 11 men behind the ball. Will he do the same with Sunderland or David Moising? I haven't picked that team, but I am now starting to wonder. Let us know in the comment section below whether you think he'll go for two up front or at least Harry Kane off Janssen. But I've gone Lloris, Walker, Davis, Jan, Toby, Dyer and Dembele, same as you, Ali, Eriksson, Lamella and Kane up front. Mm. I think he'll say to Harry Kane, you scored the final one last week against Stoke. I think you were a bit unlucky against Monaco. He did have that chance in the last 20 minutes left foot, but it was a snapshot. It, it was a, I would call it at best a half chance. Uh, you know, he hit it well, but if he'd hit it, to be honest, it's one of those ones, if he, he hit it too well, if he'd hit it, if he sliced yeah, it off his boot a bit, it, you know, it might have gone, yeah, it was a good chance, um, but I think he will still start. Okay, prediction. I'll start with this. I've gone... 2-1 Spurs. I don't think it's going to be easy off the back of a European match. It's never easy. It should be slightly less tiring than the old Thursday 
Sunday of the Europa League because we've got one more game. Also, I think it's good for us that um, Sunderland only played on Monday night, so they've only got about 48 hours more rest. And obviously, they got absolutely dicked by Lukaku and Everton. Um, hopefully, that means their confidence is, uh, confidence is down. But I think Moyes will set up very defensively, very narrow, 11 men behind the ball, JD probably looking to break. Uh, so I've gone 2-1 Spurs, a tight one, Harry Kane and Eric Dyer to score, and Jermaine Defoe for Sunderland. What about you? Well, I, looking at how they played last time out, uh, Sunderland, that is, they were dreadful, weren't they? They've Dreaded. got a, a team, they've brought some signings in that aren't particularly match fit. Um, the Jilly Bodgy um, didn't play very well either. Um, and I think that maybe we'll, we're going to get one more goal than you think. So I think we're going to win 3-1. Um, I do think it's typical that Jermaine Defoe will get a goal, a goal, because he's going to want to obviously prove himself against Loves us. Loves it at the lane. Loves it there as well. And uh, so I think for us, he's going to score is Janssen, Son, and Ali. I did. I did also contemplate putting Dyer in there as a goal scorer. So you've got Son scoring even though he's not in your first eleven. Uh, that let's is change. Some no, 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 no. <laughs> No, that's fine. He might score off the idiot. bench. It might work for you. But that is a, an intriguing <laughs> state of affairs and just shows how seriously I think you're taking this format. Let's talk about the other matches of those teams around <laughs> us. We've had to increase the amount of, of, of other teams that we're predicting now because Everton have had a way better start and they've got Borough at home this weekend. They could be in the top two by the end of this weekend. Anyway, the matches we're going to predict are Chelsea, Liverpool, Hull versus Woolwich, Leicester, Burnley, Man City against Bournemouth, Everton against Borough and Watford against Man United. Take us through your predictions for those, Jack. So to start off with, I'm going to go Chelsea 1, Liverpool 1. Uh, think John both, Terry. You think both teams will be too afraid to lose that one at yeah, this stage of the season? Massively. Um, you know, Conte's come in. He's set them up well. Terry is is obviously out. Yeah. But David Luiz can come in. And you know that there's an error there with him. But I think they'll be strong enough to at least hold it to a one or draw. OK. Um, Hull 1, Arsenal 2. Yeah. Arsenal don't really look like... You know, they're not really firing all cylinders no. at the moment, but I do think they'll sort of Still edge that nicking one. results, though. Did you yeah. see that penalty award they got against Southampton the last minute? That would never happen at the lane. No. That would never happen at the lane. But with Arsenal, it was it was a foul the other way, if anything, and he got the ball. I couldn't believe it. And also, they managed to grind out a one or well, not grind out. They managed uh, to smash and grab a one or draw against yeah. PSG. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they're, they're sort of getting they'll their find results a way. somehow. Hull have had a good start, though, so keep that going, especially Jake Livermore, Tom Huddleston, Ryan Mason, all you guys... For Hull, make it happen against Woolies this Saturday or Sunday, whenever it is. Uh, Dawson as well. Dawson injured. Anyway, Leicester two, Burnley nil. I think yep. off the back of the game this uh, yep. last night on Mahrez Wednesday. Mahrez back on form, stuck on the top bin. Yeah, I can't see anything but a win there. Um, City three, Bournemouth nil. Again, City are just on fire at the moment. Yep. Uh, Everton two, Borough nil. After their result um, last week, Everton, I think they're going to get three points there. Watford won, Man United two. Oh, okay. um, obviously, Watford are looking. They won four two last week uh, against West Ham from yeah. two nil down. That was hysterical. But yeah, I, you know, uh, people were saying that I'm um, a, a fan of United when you know I, I can see them getting three points. All right. Uh, I'm wondering whether you've been looking at my car because a lot of them were the same as mine. Hold on. So let's go. I've gone yeah, Chelsea cheating. two, Liverpool two. You went one all. So there's a different one. I've gone Hull one, Woolwich two as well. Uh, similar reasons, think they'll nick a result, but like I said, come on you Hull ex-Spurs players. I've gone Leicester 1, Burnley 0, so that's slightly different. I've gone City 3, Bournemouth 0 as well, I think that'll be an easy one. Bournemouth aren't the kind of team to go to City and shut up shop, they'll try and play football as well. That'll suit City, I can see Sterling getting space down the wing, uh, and Aguero is obviously on fire. Except he is suspended, so he won't be playing, so maybe 3-0 was Ianacho's a bit hopeful. Ian Acho's good. Uh, and has got a funny name. Uh, Everton 2, Borough 0, that's the same as you. And uh, I've gone for Watford 1, Man United 1. No, it's not copying you, though. Uh, it? No, it's, it's not two really. Different results but there. Uh, I, think, I think Watford is a difficult place to go. And actually, I was surprised when Woolwich won quite easily there a few weeks ago. But I think maybe they could keep Man United close to them. We'll see. Um, OK, well, let's see how that works out, guys. Don't you forget to let us know. Uh, what your predictions are, what you think the Spurs team will be, who's going to score, etc. I do have to once again mention uh, and want to mention Fan Duel. Now, if you haven't started playing Fan Duel yet, do. It's an amazing fantasy football game where not only can you win loads of money, but you do that by changing your team every week. So it's not like the normal fantasy football, which I'm terrible at, where I pick one team per season, realise I'm rubbish at it, and then never make any transfers because I'm terrible about it. So what we've done on Fan Duel, and you'll know this if you watched our previous match preview battles, 
We've picked a team. We enter it. We enter in the uh, one pound competitions, and you can win up to, uh, huge amounts of money, thousands of pounds, up to uh, uh, I think seven and seven a half, half thousand pounds. pounds just by playing for one pound. Uh, just go to fanjewel.co.uk. Also, all the information is in the description box below. You have to be 18 and over to do it. But if you are, chance to win money and play against us and let us know how you do compared to our team. We'll tell you our team as ever. We only ever pick a team that is either Spurs players or made up of ex-Spurs players. So we've actually stuck with the same team. Juelio Gomez, Carl Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Charlie Daniels, Andros Townsend, keep it going for Palace Andros for that reason, uh, fan dual reasons only. Delhi Ali, Gilfie Sigurdsson, well done last week against Chelsea Gilfie. Etchen Kapu, scoring for fun at the moment. Classic player, classic example of a player who we've, we've had lots of these kind of players at Spurs. Really good when they're a big fish in a medium to small sized pond, but when they come to Spurs, they never quite make it. Um, Jake Livermore, uh, Jermaine, the game, I've kept in my team despite the fact we don't want him to score against Spurs, but let's face it, he probably will. And Harry Kane, that's our fan duel team. Let us know in the comments box what team you've picked and do tell us how you've done in fan duel. And uh, for those of you, if any of you kind of get really good win, a lot of money, we will throw in something for you as well. It's definitely worth playing. Chuck a bit of dollar in it. We will, and we'll let you know how we do next week as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, at Spurred on TV. And most importantly, get behind the boys on Sunday. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. Barnaby for Spurred on, and this is your regular Monday edition of Five Things We Learn.